title, meaning you own that property. Which, by the way, in, in America, you can't get that. You, you, um, it's it's impossible to get that. All right, go ahead. As tramps and squatters, they can be evicted at will by the government. Yep. Yeah, read that little highlighted part. Uh, this is the Hunting Indians in Massachusetts, a scouting journal of 1758. In 1757, the Great and General Court of Massachusetts made a new resolution to rid the colony of the Indian enemy. The bounty on scalps was increased from 250 pounds. pounds to 300 pounds, a sum likely to inspire the needy as well as the adventurous. Scalping, scalp hunting was not only a sporting pastime, it was a profitable business. Yep. That was it? Yeah, yeah that's All right. it. And then uh, we're gonna finish off on this, the Thanksgiving special. All right, uh, this is... Um, the, uh, basically the, the breakdown of the Thanksgiving. Anybody have any comments or scriptures, you know, always bring it up. So yeah, read that. The yeah. real... Th yeah. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I have something. Um, uh, Psalms 10 and uh, 6. He's, he has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places, do as he murder the innocent. Yeah, that's that's the that's his devil. That's the Illuminati, man. You know, they they do their works in darkness, man. So no one can see, but everything is being exposed anyway. You know, go ahead. Um, his eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor when he draweth him in his net. He croacheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He hideth his face. He'll never see it. Arise, O Lord. O oh God, Yahweh B'Shem Shai, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore doest the wicked contempt God? He has said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou uh, beholdest mischief and spite to require it with thine hand. The poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. A lot of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native <laughs> Americans ain't got no fathers. Yep, that's, that's Break curse. thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Yeah, who, yeah you got Khazars in our land. Edomites, right? You got Arabs. You got you got Hamites, refugees now. You know. <laughs> Go ahead. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause thine ear to hear, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. Yep. Yep. The man of the earth is Esau, the Edomite, so called yep. white man. The, the power of the earth is in his hand, you know? Right. So, yeah, uh, read that. The real Thanksgiving Day Massacre. The Pequots today own the, four, fo the Foxwood Casino and Hotel in Ledyard, Connecticut, with gross gaming revenues of over $9 billion in 2000. This is truly a very belated miracle since the real first pilgrim thanksgiving was intended as the Pequot epitaph 16 years after the problematical Plymouth feast the English tried mightily to erase the Pequots from the face of the earth and thanked God for the blessing having subdued 
intimidated or made mercenaries of most of the tribes of Massachusetts, the English turned their growing force southward toward the rich Connecticut Valley. The Pequot Spear of Influence at the point where the Mystic River meets this, the sea. The combined force of English and Allied Indians bypassed the Pequot Fort to attack and set ablaze a town full of women, children, and old people. Many prisoners were executed and surviving women and children sold into slavery in the West Indies. Yes, yeah, so you got a, uh, a lot of guys they went to, uh, they got shipped to the West Indies there and there was a, a revolution, I think it was in 1511. Um, um, Gadites got put in the West Indies and they they, they uh, uh, allied themselves with the, with the Jakes there and they revolted for 10 years against Esau, you know, so, so they allied themselves together, you know, go ahead. William Bradford, the former governor of Plymouth and one of the chroniclers of the 1621 feast was also on the hand for the great massacre of 1637. Those that escaped the fire were slain with the sword, some hewed to pieces, others run through with their rapiers so that they were quickly dispatched and very few escaped. It was conceived they thus destroyed about 400 at this time. It was a fearful sight to see them thus frying in the fire. Horrible was the stink and scent thereof, but the victory seemed a sweet sacrifice and they gave the prayers thereof to God. Yeah, and then it tells you, um, in the book of, uh, I think it's Psalms or Proverbs, yeah, Proverbs, the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Most High. You know? Go ahead. Who had wrought so wonderfully for them, thus to enclose their enemies in their hands and give them so speedily a victory over so proud and insulting an enemy. The rest of the white folks thought so too. This day four shall be a day of celebration and thanksgiving yep. for subduing the Pequots. Yep. Read Governor John Winthrop's proclamation. The authentic Thanksgiving day was born. Most historians believe about seven Pequots were slaughtered at Mystic. Smith, how much? At 700. Yeah, you said seven, it's like. Oh. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Most historians believe about 700 Pequots were slaughtered at Mystic. Many prisoners were executed and surviving women and children sold into slavery in the West Indies. Yep. So, yeah. Just the highlight. Just the highlight? Yeah. Okay. 55 years, er, 50, uh, 55 years after the original Thanksgiving Day, the Puritans had destroyed the generous Wampanoag and all other neighboring tribes. The Wampanoag chief King Philip was beheaded. His head was stuck on a pole in Plymouth, where the skull still hung on display 24 years later. Yep. This is not thought to be a fit Thanksgiving tale. Yep, so that's why they, they sugarcoat it, man. It's not a f little fun thing to uh, tell little kids that. You know, go ahead. For the children of today, but it is the real story well known to the settler children of New England at the time. Yes, yeah, so little kids knew at the time, obviously, because every time they went outside, they seen his head on the pole, man. You know, go ahead. The white kids who saw the Wampanoag head on the pole year after year. So this guy, uh, this Jake, he was a chief. Uh, his, uh, they call him King Philip, but he has a, a native name. I forget what it's called. It starts with an M. All right. Uh, they, uh, the Wampanoag Indians, the Gadites, they after they killed the the, the uh, they decimated their um, forces. Basically, they got the chief, and they cut off his head and they put it on the pole as celebration and Thanksgiving furthering man. All right, go ahead. On the pole year after year, I knew for certain that God loved them best of all, and that every atrocity they might ever commit against a heathen, non-white 
was blessed. So hold on. So uh, get that scripture in Ecclesiastes uh, sentence against an evil work. All right, don't worry. You keep reading though. So they say, oh, listen, oh, we're not getting judged. So obviously God is with us. That's that's a that's beautiful, man, because that's in the scriptures, man. That's a direct contradiction, you know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Let's finish that. The British North American colonists' practice of enslaving Indians for labor or direct sale to the West Indies preceded the appearance of the first chain Africans at the dock in Jamestown, Virginia in 1619. The Jamestown colonist human transaction with the Dutch vessel was an unscheduled occurrence. However, once the African slave trade began, Became commercially established, the fates of Indians and Africans in the colonies became inexcusably entwined. New England, born of up close and personal, burned them in the fires of hell genocide, led the political and commercial development of the English colonies. The region also led the nascent nations descent into a slavery based society and economy yep so it tells you that the negroes and the indians they, they had an inter intertwined destiny meaning they're both enslaved all right so uh, uh yeah, you get, yeah, yeah get ecclesiastes ecclesiastes 8 and 11 because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily right so sentence against an evil work all these evil works that the white man has done it, uh, his sentence is not executed speedily So that's why they said Oh God is with us All these atrocities we're doing uh, God is with us He loves us You know But keep reading Therefore The heart of the sons of men Is fully set in them to do evil Yeah that's That's exactly The, the sons of men are, are Is the white man And the other nations Alright And specifically Esau He's the son of the wicked Alright so they say it, uh, it says that their heart is set to do wickedness so because uh, obviously they're not getting sentenced they're not getting judgment go ahead though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged yet surely i know that it shall be well with them that fear god yep. which fear before him yep so it's all those the jakes that were killed and all that you know if they kept the commandments it's, it's good with them man you know, because they're coming back in the reincarnation. If they're, they're the elect, then it's going to be good with them. You know? But it shall not be well with the wicked. Yeah, it's beautiful. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before God. Yep. There, There is a vanity which... Uh, that was... Is, yeah, that was... Okay. Uh, so, so can someone get Sirach uh, 41? Remember uh, 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 the abomination? Uh, you know which one... 